Good morning, what's up, High School? Today is August 23rd, and my name is Andre Bordley. And I am Jesse Unger. Please pause for a moment of quiet reflection, then please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our information for this morning includes the 2018 Elmore County College and Career Day Fair will be on Tuesday, September 4th at the Wetumpka Civic Center. Admission is free and representatives from colleges and universities, military recruiters, as well as businesses that are hiring will be in attendance. Again, that will be on Tuesday, September 4th. Seniors, your intent to graduate forms and senior fees are due to Ms. McKenzie and the library by next Friday, August 31st. Speaking of seniors, Hudson McKenzie and junior Maubry Calloway competed in the Buckmasters Invitational Shotgun Tournament at Lower Wetumpka Shotgun Sports Club. They are both members of the Elmore County 4-H. If you are interested in joining the Elmore County 4-H, you can contact Lori.Weldon at auburn.edu. Our Owen Indians will be facing the Fairhope Pirates at their home opener. Tonight at Gold Star Park, there will be a preseason prep rally at 6.30. Everyone is invited to come out and support the tribe their march to the state championship. Admission is free, and this event will be put, being put on the city of Wetumpka. Just a reminder that school pictures will be made this morning. All students will be called alphabetically by grade level during Indian period. Here is our character education video. This morning's character education focuses on the traits, learning, cooperation, and diligence. Basketball superstar Michael Jordan reigns as America's most popular athlete. He's mastered the game to such an extent that pro player Magic Johnson could say, there's Michael and then there's the rest of us. But he didn't just wake up one morning, pick up a basketball, and begin his lightning fast moves and stratospheric jumps, dunking against giant defenders. Believe it or not, he was cut from the varsity team his sophomore year in high school. So what did he do to improve? One could argue that without the fierce daily one-on-one -on -one backyard competitions with his older brother Larry, who was a better athlete at the time, Michael would have never developed his ability and confidence enough to compete at the game. Larry was his mentor as well as his best friend. Topics to think about. How might Michael Jordan's life have been different had he had never looked up to a mentor or chosen the wrong mentor? What should we look for in a mentor? Do you have a mentor? If not, who would be a good one? That concludes our character education today. Have a great day. Last week during Indian period, students had the chance to look at various clubs that have been staples at our school. Clubs such as Key Club, FCS, FCA, Art Club, and the Recycling Club, Chess Club, DECA, and more. These clubs give students the opportunity to give back to the community, learn leadership skills, and de develop an awareness of others. If you have not signed up for a club, please check with Ms. Crockett. Girls, sign up for the Powder Puff Football with Ms. Park and D8. There are 20 spots available for each grade. It's co first come, first serve. The cost to play is $20, which does include your t-shirt. Powder Puff will be played at Holmberg Stadium September 5th. Unfortunately, there are no refunds and you must have a sports, physical, or on fine file. Today, we continue our Senior Spotlight and our Teacher of the Week. Hi, I'm Mabry Calloway with Senior of the Week, Hudson McKenzie. Hudson, what do you plan to do after high school? Um, I honestly don't know yet. I'm still trying to figure that one out. What are your hobbies outside of school? Well, for one, I'm on the Wetumpka High School fishing team, and also I do, um, I'm part of the Elmore County 4-H shotgun team, and it's always a fun and exciting experience when we go out to the range on Sunday afternoons and shoot. Who has inspired you the most throughout your high school career? Probably my mom. Although she works at the high school, she's always pushing me to do my best. What has been your most embarrassing moment throughout your high school experience? Uh, this is going to sound really country, but I bought a brand new pair of boots. And so I'm walking outside around the ponds and I slip in some um, animal waste. Yeah. End of story. That's, that's all you need to know. Sounds wonderful. Thank you, Hudson. <laughs> and that was your senior of the week. 
So for our first question, how long have you been teaching? I have been here teaching at Utapka High School for 10 years. What inspired you to become a teacher? So when I was little, I used to love playing, uh, pretend teaching with my younger siblings. I have four of them and they allowed me to play with them like I was a teacher. So I just enjoyed it and um, decided to become a teacher. What did you do before you were teaching? Before I was a teacher, I was actually in the active duty, national, um, active duty army. And then I just got out and uh, became part-time army and started teaching. So if you had a favorite movie to choose, what would it be? My favorite movie would be Sleepless in Seattle because I used to be stationed in Seattle. And watching that movie really reminds me of the places that I visited when I was there. So for an embarrassing moment here at WHS, what would it be? Well, I have um, several times. Every time I walk around my students' desks and I hit the corner of the desk, it really hurts. But when my students are here, I pretend like it doesn't hurt. So those are pretty embarrassing moments, but I pretty much make them disappear. All right, thank you, Ms. Arwell. That's all for today. You're welcome. The lunch menu today is beef tips with gravy or crispy chicken fillet, rice, lima beans, sliced tomatoes, cornbread, and your choice of fruit and milk. Any ladies that are interested in trying out for basketball, please pick up a tryout form in the office or in the gym. Tryouts will be held next Thursday, August 30. You must have a physical in order to try out. If any questions, see Coach Bell. That's all for Wetumpka TV. This is Andre Bordley. And Jesse Unger. Hoping you have a great day.